Now, I've seen, so something else interesting, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, is the Orion correlation theory. I'm not super familiar with it because I just kind of started looking a little bit into it. And from what I've read, it's really compelling and interesting. Can you like, for someone like me who isn't necessarily an expert, can you kind of give like a layman's kind of sure. uh, explanation of exactly uh, what, so, what? So I wrote a book uh, extending the Orion correlation theory. It's called Enoch. Yep. The Egyptian New Orion Connection Hypothesis. So instead of saying the Orion Correlation Theory, I've got the Orion Connection Hypothesis. Interesting. But here's why I earned the name and Baval doesn't. Robert Baval came up with the, the, the uh, Orion Correlation Theory, and it's brilliant. I'm not knocking Robert Baval. Listen to what I am saying, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he, he fought hard. You know, he was trying to get acceptance, uh, you know, in the Egyptological crowd, in the astronomy crowd. And I right. used to think, Back when he was first coming out and promoting his books, I thought, what in the heck are you, are, Baval, are you so concerned about getting the approval of these guys that are never going to approve you? You know, you're an, an engineer, so he's a qualified person, but he's not an Egyptologist, not an astronomer. And, and so he's fighting hard to get this accepted in the mainstream. I thought, why do you need to get it accepted in the mainstream? You got, you got millions of people buying your books worldwide. People, people see it. You don't have to wait for the Egyptians. But the thing that, that, I, that I had to say about Baval, he never extended it beyond the three belt stars. So the Orion correlation theory is this. You want a simple explanation? Here it is. The Egyptians said, as above, so below. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's the constellation Orion in the sky. Yeah. Let's put it on the ground here. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. Orion's belt. Oh, the three Giza pyramids are his belt. There's a correlation between the sky and the earth, as above, so below. Okay, so that's the Orion correlation theory. Let's correlate the stars with the pyramids. So you've got three stars and you got three pyramids. Right. Okay, great start, Rob Baval. But who is known by their belt? Calvin, you can't see my belt right now and I yeah. can't see yours. Right. So after I hit, we have this uh, you know, podcast, I go, oh, what's Calvin like? I said, well, he's got a great belt. Well, what's his personality? I don't know. He's got a great belt. Well, you know, he's in Moscow. Well, he's got a great belt. Well, what, what are his intellectual thoughts? Well, he's got a great belt. You yeah, can't yeah. say you've got the Orion correlation theory if all you have all. is three stars and the belt. Yeah. So what I did is I went to every place on Egyptian soil where the major stars in the constellation Orion fall on planet Earth in Egypt. Amazing. That's the Orion correlation theory. And, and I've said this many times, and maybe your podcast, are, I think I'm the only person in the world who's done it. Now, I'm not boasting. I'm not boasting. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just being honest. Yeah. I think I'm. if there's somebody else, I want to talk to you. I want to meet yeah. you. I want to correspond with you. I'm all alone in this corner saying I alone have done it. Yeah. And I've said that many times because I'm saying it to be provocative. So somebody says, hey, no, I yeah. know a guy who did it. And no one has come at me and said that. Very interesting. Now, Baval, I think, tried to in the beginning. And he, I know why he didn't, why he didn't find it. Because if you take the three, the, the three pyramids in Giza, they do correlate with the, with the belt stars, if that's all you look at. Yeah. But if you extrapolate from those three stars, in other words, take the astronomical units, how far apart are those stars in the sky? Okay, then use that scale to go to Betelgeuse. The shoulder, Bellatrix, the other shoulder, Rigel, the foot, Misa, the head. And you'll come down and you won't have anything. If you use the, the scale the, of the, 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 the spacing of the pyramids to correspond with the spacing of the stars, then from that, you could lay out the entire constellation of Orion on Egyptian soil. Interesting. Well, if you did, it doesn't score. So what Baval didn't realize, as I did, that the, the, the belt part wasn't to scale. The rest of, you, you to, for Orion to be laid out on Egyptian soil the way that I did, it's the way the Egyptians laid it out, but they didn't use the belt as the, as the scalar representative in a sense. So yeah. if you, and so I, Baval never, because I think Baval spent some early years trying to find it. He would have liked to stop and think about it. You're the guy that's got the name Orion correlation theory, but all you have is the belt. Yeah. Robert Fair. Grant, who's a yeah. big sensation on Instagram. Uh, Robert Grant wrote the, uh, the introduction or the forward, I should say to, to my new edition of this, which I hope to get out this year. 
but uh, you know, he's he said in there the same. He said in his forward, he thought the same thing when he first heard about the Orion correlation theory from Bavala. Well, what about the rest of the what about the rest yeah. of the stars in the constellation Orion? Right. And so he said that you know that that my book's an important book for everybody in the world. Definitely, I'm definitely going to have to pick it up for sure. And here's why. <laughs> Because the conclusions I came to, I'm, I'm an honest researcher, and I, I try and let the evidence lead to the conclusions. Definitely. So when I went into this study, and I was nervous, and I had doubts, I had to work through some things to realize how to lay out Orion on the Egyptian soil, and do, do I need to know spherical geometry? You know, do, who, who am I? I'm not an engineer. And I worked through all that to, to feel very confident now about what I found. And so... If you're just going out to prove what you already know, I'm going out to prove that Khufu didn't build the Great Pyramid. And you, you, if you do that, that's not the kind of research I do. My research is I, I, I studied the evidence and, and try and let it, let it lead the way. And that's what happened here. And the conclusions I came to in this book, I did not have in my head beforehand, not, not right. a way in the world. What I thought about when I wrote this book was, I'm going to, for every star, I'm going to find a pyramid. That astro-archaeological intent was my whole intent that as above so below star pyramid star Definitely. pyramid that's what i started with that's not where i ended yeah i mean so that's, uh that's you know what i i on gray on blue on white waiting for the morning for the dawning of light